footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our week one Sunbelt Conference game of the week preview between the Louisiana Raging Cajuns and the Arkansas Razorbacks. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams starting with Louisiana. When you look at the Raging Cajuns in this ball game, offensively, quarterback Terrence Broadway will have to consistently hit plays downfield to keep that box from stacking up versus the run. And they have to work both tight ends in the ball game. You look at Ian Thompson and Jacob Maxwell. Those guys are talented players. Work those tight ends in the game early, loosen up that box, and that way you can have some success later on running the football. Now defensively, there are two Juco transfers starting at corner in Corey Trim and Cedric Tillman. It's their first game at the FBS level. They got to be assets and not liabilities this week. Now up front, defensive tackle Justin Hamilton versus Travis Swanson, the outstanding center. That's going to be a battle you want to watch throughout the course of the game because the Cajuns have to stop the run, especially going against a Brett Billima-led football team. Now let's move over to the Razorbacks in this ball game. And contrary to popular belief, there is some talent on this roster. You look at their defensive line, their offensive line, and in the backfield, I think they're fine, and that's a good foundation. Running the football and playing good in the trenches is going to keep you in a lot of games. And I'm interested to see how well Alex Collins does this week versus the Raging Cajuns. He's a true freshman, the number one running back recruit in the country. He's going to play behind Jonathan Williams, but should see a lot of touches this week. Now on the defensive side of the football, the secondary of the Razorbacks are going to have to make those one-on-one -on -one tackles. The Cajuns put a lot of pressure on the perimeter, and if those receivers break free, they have the speed to take it the distance, so you have to make sure you wrap up and get these guys on the ground. Now we'll go with a tight zone coverage because you don't want to turn your back to Terrence Broadway, who can do damage with his legs, and also you have to stay gap disciplined up front. The running game of the Cajuns can be deadly if you're out of position. The X Factor for the Cajuns this week will be the special teams. They have to win that element of the football game, whether it be in a return game with Darrell Surgeon, who's an outstanding kickoff and punt returner, but the kicking game is vital. Gone is All-American Brett Bear, who also handled the punting duties for the Cajuns last year, and they're going to look to Juco transfer Steven Brockle to step in and provide the same type of consistency that Bear gave them over the course of his career. The X Factor for the Razorbacks will be their defensive line. They're very talented up front with Chris Smith, Byron Jones, Robert Thomas, and Trey Flowers. Those guys can really collapse the pocket, and that's what they're going to have to do this week versus the Raging Cage. you got to get penetration to slow down a spread offense. If they can do that, they can win this ball game at home. Now, here are some coaching points for both teams in this matchup. For the Raging Cajuns, you have to be able to generate a pass rush, whether it's second and long or third and long type situations. you got to be able to get to the quarterback and get teams off the field. And the backside defenders can't fall asleep versus a Brett Billima-led offense. We know how much he loves to run those naked bootlegs off play action. you got to be alert. And the Cajuns have to own the little things that are involved in winning a football game. The penalties, the turnovers, the mental errors. you got to be able to tie up those loose ends in order to come away victorious on the road. And for the Razorbacks in this ballgame, you want to force Broadway into quick decisions. Get him to get rid of that football quickly, and you can have some success. Rally up, make a tackle, get these guys off the field. And the linebackers in the underneath coverage is going to be vital. The tight end play is huge. They love to attack the seams. So your linebackers have to do a good job of walling off the tight end down the middle. And Brandon Allen finding an early rhythm is key for this Arkansas offense. If they're able to achieve balance, it could be a long day for the Raging Cajuns. Now here are some 2014 draft prospects you want to keep an eye on in this ball game for Louisiana. Look at their offensive line and their defensive line. You're going to see a lot of talent up front. Andre Haval, Justin Hamilton, Christian Ringo, and Daniel Guave. Those guys can really play some football. But keep an eye on Jamal Robinson, the 6'4", 205-pound junior. This guy has stick him for hands and is super athletic. And Darryl Surgeon is one of the best returners in the country. And as for Arkansas, they arguably have the best center in the country in Travis Swanson. A guy that's been a starter since day one. Very good in the middle and on defense. They have some rock-solid players. Chris Smith, Brian Jones, Trey Flowers up front. And cornerback Tevin Mitchell at 6 feet, 185 pounds, is a very good cover corner that has great ball skills. Terrell Finroy is definitely a campus legend. He became the school's first 1,000-yard rusher in its illustrious 112-year history. Also was named Sunbelt Conference Freshman of the Year and was a three-time first-team All-Sunbelt Conference performer. And he became only the seventh player in FBS history to rush for 1,000 yards in four consecutive seasons. 
Before he became Bambi with the San Diego Chargers, he was a running back at Arkansas. Lance Allward led the nation in punt return yardage in both 1960 and 1961. In 1961 as well, he became a first-team All-American and was named to the All-Decade team of the 60s. I like the Raging Cajuns in an upset in this ballgame. I love their ability to spread the field and attack the individual matchups. And defensively, they do have some talent up front to cause some disruption. The key would be two things. Can they stop the run? And also, can they play excellent special teams? That's what you want to look out for in this ballgame. But I do see the Raging Cajuns going on the road and pulling off the upset against the Arkansas Razorbacks.